What I don't like about you is the way that you treat me, the way that sometimes you act like I just don't exist. I just hate the way you are. You're just so selfish and you act like I'm a dog. What you don't understand about me is that I have feelings too. I get frustrated when you hit me, when I had I have a picture when you gave me a bloody nose and you deny it. You slapped my hand and left a handprint. That's not horrible, but that stung. That hurt. What I don't like about you is your lack of respect and your challenging attitude. No matter what I say, that, that it will be met with a rebuttal with a, I'm going to try to one-up you with these verbal antics. Sometimes it's like dealing with a little adult in a 10-year-old body. And the playing field, contrary to what he believes, is not even. What you don't understand about me is that I grew up in a home where there was real abuse. And I made a promise to myself that I would never treat any children that I may have as I was treated. See, right now you're laughing at me as I'm talking, and that's disrespectful. I get frustrated when you constantly run your mouth with me. You have to have this attitude of, I am smarter than you, and you're my mother, but you don't know shit. Look at me, please. It's much easier for me to talk when you look at me. I looked. I want you to first and foremost know that I love you more than I love anybody else in this world. I do not like what's happening with us. I am so, so sorry that your sister died, and I am so sorry that I am not the mother that I was before then, as you remind me. You saying that I constantly argue with you? And I do. But you know what? You're the one who starts all of it. You yell at me for nothing, absolutely nothing. And you say you don't abuse me? You can't hit me, give me blood noses. I have no recollection of those events. You know, just stop, just stop. You're denying stuff. Just before we came here, you're driving me crazy. I hate you. What? You said that. Dude, I'm... You have. I would... Don't deny it, you have. You have, right before we came no. here. I said to you, I hate your behavior. I hate what is going on. But never in a million years would I tell you that I hate you. Denial. Yep, I would say to Stop you, Stop denying everything. She hits me and then she denies it. She does everything. I hate her. Ever since in December, when you decided to cry wolf and say, my mom beats me, call CPS, she that's when I told you that I'm at the end of my rope, that I've had enough, and you're right. Since that time, I've definitely said things to you that I wouldn't have otherwise said. Why? Because I'm pissed off, because this is a bunch of and because it has to stop. Shut up. Let me respond to that. Do not tell me to shut up. Okay, then you don't tell me to shut up. I'm really doing just about everything I can t to prevent what, what's happening, but it's not enough. I need an adult who should listen to. Coming up. I am the boss of you. Shut up! Give me a turn to speak! I saw you slap your mother. You think it's okay to slap a girl? Are you proud of that? We now return to the Dr. Phil House rat camp. You accused me of trying to kill you with a phone. I never tried to kill you with a phone. And I would never say that you tried to kill me. Yes, you did. I'm sure you that I said that you tried to hit me with the phone. You, you, called, you called the cops and said that my son, he's trying to kill me with the phone. He threw the phone at me. He tried to kill me. That's interesting because that's not my recollection of the situation. Okay, good. Good. That, that's a step. You admit that you don't remember. Okay, you don't remember things. She treats me like I am a piece of shit. And it really bugged me because she, then she denies it. Right before we got in the plane, you said that if I get mad and if I freak out, you would have the flight attendants come and put me in handcuffs and arrest me. And then after I was nicely asking you to turn your music down, you turn it up and up, and then eventually you freaked out right in my arm. And that hurt. You won't give me the right to strike me with your elbow. Dude, the first time you went like that to me, 
I ignored it. And you jabbed me again. I didn't jab you. I could you. see where it was going and what I said to you, and this was a word of warning. I jabbed you. I did not jab you. I you jabbed me. I was petrified. And what I said to you is physical acts of aggression get taken very seriously on an airplane. I if know you she... begin to get aggressive, they will put handcuffs on you. I was you. getting your attention. I did this. I was tapping your arm with my arm. I had arm. you went like that. I had told you on more than one occasion that I wasn't putting the volume down. Well, you know what? I kept asking because it was driving me crazy. So then you decided to do this. And after the second one, I gave you one back as a way to say, stop it. And you said, like yes, yes or no? Exactly. No, yeah, you got my attention, but I'm not a dog. So why don't you heed my suggestions of stop it when I ask politely? Because you're not the complete boss of me. I control my body. I control what I do. And you don't have the right to hit me that hard. I lightly tapped your arm with my elbow. Wait, stop. Let me talk. I lightly tapped your arm with my elbow to get your attention. Bam. Right in my arm. It actually left a mark for about 20 minutes. But 20 minutes later, it was finally okay, back. Okay, up, you said, you're not the boss of me. I am the boss of you. When a mother says to be quiet, she's the boss of you, and you need to listen to that. Bottom I line, never said... When a teacher says something, she's the boss of you, and you need to listen... Shut up! Give me a turn to speak! Fine, see? You do that to me. How does it feel? How does it feel to be told to shut up? We've talked about it. Let me speak. How does that feel? Do How does that feel? Do not put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? No, I asked you a question. You know what? Shut up! Apparently that's the only one that gets your attention. How does that make you feel? I, of course, always knew that there was a, an incredible amount of rage and anger there, but the depths of it surprised me. And, of course, when he raised his hand and slapped me across the face, that absolutely surprised me. I did lightly slap her on the cheek to show her how that feels. So I hope that that made her think about what she does. You know what? You be nice to me. I'll be nice to you. But it'll never end if you continue to be mean. I try to apologize saying, you know what, Mom? I should not have said that. And I am sorry. And then you come back with, well, all I'm trying to do is treat you nicely. I'm just trying to be nice to you. That's mean. I just really really need somewhere to stay other than with my mom. I really need somewhere else to stay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is not even almost okay. Children don't slap their parents. Are you kidding me? It's time for me to sit down and have a talk with Noah and the rest of these kids. Hey, hey. What's up, guys? Nothing. Are you glad you're here? Yeah. Yep. Why? For me, it's because my mom might finally be recognized for the abusive mother that she is. That sounds kind of rehearsed, practiced, and insincere. Coming up, you made up a story that wasn't true. I'm sorry for that. Okay, I mean, tell the truth. You're going to talk to me, tell the truth.